welcome so i bought another problem for you again it's heat equation with insulated ends okay so let's begin so u3 equal to u x x four zero less than x less than one now let me impose the boundary conditions and since this is Insulated, so I'll impose the conditions at the derivative, and I have a function u x zero equal to. Um, let's take this one. Okay, x times one minus x. Now I'm looking for a solution. Okay, what will be my u x t? Okay, so let us find out. Now you know that this is a type two heat problem, so a uh, solution is given by this equation u x t equal to d naught by two plus summation n equal to one to infinity t n cos n pi x upon l into e power minus c times n square n square pi square upon l square into t the solution is given by and now we look forward to find this d naught and d no, uh, dn so d naught is given by this d naught is nothing but 2 upon l integral 0 to l f of x dx while this dn is given by 2 by l integral 0 to l f of x into cos n pi x upon l dx so let's find the solution then let me turn the page yeah so first we will find a uh, d naught so d naught was nothing but 2 upon l integral 0 to l f of x dx okay um wait a second first let me find out this l and f of x so I think uh, I have already mentioned whenever you get a problem first always find out your C and your L and f of x. L here in this case would be 1 and f of x is already given and it's given to be x into 1 minus x. Okay and C is also 1. Okay. Now um, you can even compare this. So you, here it is basically C square at this point. So it is just 1 here. Okay and this is our f of x. Okay, This quantity here is our f of x u of 0 f of x. And this quantity is our L, okay? So zero is less than X, less than L. So we got L equal to four, okay? Now let's solve them. So that will be just two times integral zero to one. Uh, F of X is just X into one minus X DX. And uh, I'm too lazy to solve this integral. So rather I'll use uh, beta functions. So power here is one and I can power here is one. So I'll simply apply beta function to get this as um, two comma two okay so that will literally give me two times beta two will be uh, gamma two into gamma two upon gamma two plus two okay so that will give me two and this quantity here will be one this is again one and gamma four will be nothing but three factorial so that will give me two by six which is equal to one by three and do not be very confused with what what this integral is so this is simply called as beta function. I'll introduce this, okay. Beta function, okay, says when you have integral between zero to one x power m into one minus x power n dx, then this will be simply beta m plus one times uh, comma n plus, okay. And the relation between beta and gamma is given by beta m n is nothing but gamma m into gamma n on gamma m plus n okay not to be confused with square root this is gamma that's a different function basically and if you um, it's, if m and n are purely integers then this gamma m is nothing but m minus one factorial okay that's what i'm using here fine so i got here d0 to be equal to one by three Okay, so d0 I got 1 by 3. Okay. I'll keep this secure at place and proceed to find out dn. Okay, so let us find out dn. 
the inverse 2 by l integral 0 to l f of x into cos n pi x upon l dx okay and now since l is here 1 and f of x is x into 1 minus x so i'll simply equate them and write down this 0 to l uh, 1 x into 1 minus x and then cos n pi x dx okay so now this part um i'll keep to at one place and equate this with um let's multiply in fact okay so i get x times cos n pi x dx minus 2 times integral 0 to 1 will be x square times cos n pi x dx okay and now to solve these big integrals what i'll do i'll basically consider them okay i'll consider this part to be some i1 okay and i'll consider this part to be i2 and then i'll substitute them together here fine so now let us solve what is i1 and i2 okay so to solve i1 we will basically use integration by parts but that's the only way feasible okay so let's begin if i have here 0 to 1 okay x into cos n pi x dx so apply now um Lenish rule basically so you get x into integration of cos n pi will be sine n pi x upon n pi okay and your limit goes between 0 to 1 and minus um, it goes alternate plus minus so basically uh, and now let's find out the derivative of x which is 1 and then now integration of this entire quantity okay so integration of this quantity will be uh, let me write down this minus cos n pi x upon n square pi square okay, the limit goes between 0 to 1 and third part will be basically zero okay if i take the derivative of this uh, again so it will be plus minus and then next quantity will be plus and then derivative of one which will be zero and hence forward all the derivatives will be zero okay so that part will be uh, that part is your required answer so now let us substitute the limits okay and uh, here no wonder look at the first term okay that's quite interesting even so basically you get uh, when you put here one so i get sine n pi which is zero and when i put here zero then um, this quantity makes everything zero okay so first term will not contribute anything and now from the second term i'll just take uh, this minus and minus outside so it will be basically positive and now i'm going to erase this because that's not needed okay so let me erase this because th this is not needed now because all these uh, quantities are zero okay so i'll simply write down this is equal to okay this will be equal to now put here x uh, one first so you get basically cos n pi okay upon n square pi square so upper side and minus when i put lower limit then basically i get just cos zero will be one so one upon n square pi square okay so that's my i1 means this quantity okay and similarly i'll go to find out this okay so let us find them so i2 will be equal to integral 0 to 1 x square into cos n pi x dx okay i can apply integration by parts so you get x square and integration of cos n pi x will be sine n pi x upon n pi and again your limit goes between 0 to 1 now this is plus plus quantity is done and now apply minus sign and take the derivative of x square okay so you get 2x and now take the integration of this entire uh, this bracket open bracket so you basically get integration of sine to be minus cos so this will be become this will become plus and you get here cos n pi x upon n square pi square okay limit goes between 0 to 1 and now it was plus minus this quantity will be again plus now take the derivative of 2x so that will give me 2 and then now take the integration of it was here minus cos basically so if you take minus cos integration it will give you uh, minus sine n pi x upon 
n cube pi cube between 0 to 1. Okay. Now, um, if you do not know uh, this rule, then you can ultimately work out with this. Okay. Or else I'll supply the proof, in fact, of this quantity. Now, let us put. So, um, one thing must be born in, born in the mind. Whenever you have your sign, sign term, and it is between 0 to 1, then this will not give us anything. Because ultimately, we, when I put here 1, so sine n pi gives me 0. And when I put here 0, then this quantity gives me 0. Okay. And even this also go, gives me 0. That's perfectly fine. So, this quantity will give me nothing. And the same thing goes with this third one, third, third term. Because here also you get here sine n pi, that is 0. And for this quantity also you get 0. So, I, only I have this term. Okay. So, let's see what it gives me. So, 2 times x is just 1. So, that will give you... Um, cos n pi so it will be just cos n pi okay upon n square pi square and when i when you put lower limit zero then this entire quantity goes away so you got i2 equal to okay two times cos n pi upon n square pi square okay now we know that cos n pi is nothing but minus one power n upon n square pi square okay so we got even i2 so I have now I1 to be, um, I'll equate this quantity again. So I got here I1 and I2. Now let us substitute here, fine. So I get basically, uh, if you open this bracket, then basically I think you get two times I1 minus two times I2. That means basically we have to subtract I1, uh, I2 from I1, okay? Followed by uh, multiplication of two, okay? So it's basically d n was nothing but okay, two times i one minus i two, and my i one was i one minus i two followed by two. Okay, so this will give me two times. Now let me write down i one. I one was cos n pi, so which is minus one power n upon n square pi square minus one upon n square phi square. This is my I1. And now I2 is minus, minus one power n upon n square phi square. Okay, now let us equate them. So basically I'm getting, um, this entire quantity becomes the um, this one and uh, write this one, okay? Basically gets canceled. Okay, this and this getting canceled. I have just minus two upon n square pi square. Okay, if you check this, okay, so it will be basically minus two upon n square pi square. Okay, so that's my dn. Okay, and clearly it is seen that if as n goes to infinity, this entire quantity goes to zero. Okay, so basically it will form a series. Let us see what that series is. Okay, first let us cross check whether everything is correct or not. Okay, yeah, this is correct. I one was so I think this minus, yeah, that's correct. So cos n pi and minus this thing. Yeah, that's perfect. Now we are left with this thing. So I have added here minus two times. Mm, uh, yeah, I made a mistake here. Okay, it will not be canceled here. Okay, let me clarify my mistake here. I think it will be, it's two times cos n pi. So I forgot here to write two here, basically. Okay, so that two is a mistake. Okay. So basically this term will not get cancelled, 2 will come here into the picture and then again 2 will come here, okay. So this, this term will not get cancelled, okay. Just let me erase this sign, yeah. This term will not get cancelled. We will get some other, another expression because that's what I was worried, okay. Yeah, now, so you'll be getting, it will be basically 2. Um, can I take minus in fact completely outside because here I'll be getting uh, this term minus two times will give me minus and this minus so that minus will come out and then I get um, simply minus one power n and when I have to get minus then this quantity will become plus one upon n square pi square okay so that's what I'm getting now let me manipulate this thing further so I have dn equal to minus two times okay, minus one power n minus one upon n square pi square okay for n even 
okay if n is even then i'm getting dn to be minus 2 times this part will become uh, minus 1 power even uh, is always 1 so basically 1 minus 1 upon n square pi square this quantity gives me 0 means uh, all the terms um, all even terms in our solution must be absent okay because they are all zero now for odd okay for n to be odd i'm getting dn to be equal to minus 2 will remain in the picture and then this quantity will become negative okay so minus 1 minus 1 will give you minus 2 upon n square pi square so this quantity leads me further 4 upon n square pi square so we got dn and we got d naught now let's plug it into the solution okay so solution is u x t equal to d naught by 2 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity dn into cos n pi x okay l is 1 okay and e power minus c is also 1 so it will be just n square okay pi square then t okay to get in n square pi square into t now let us see what we get okay so u x t will be equal to now uh, i think first time is d naught and d naught i think we found uh yeah one by three okay d naught is one by three so let's plug in d naught okay it will be one upon two times one by 3 now plus the summation begins n equal to 1 to infinity okay and dn was um here n equal to 1 and i should write down this clearly goes for odd term okay because all the events are zero okay so dn into cos n by x into e power minus okay, n square pi square t okay. now it will work only for the odd rest of the terms it will be zero basically okay so now let's plug in so that will give me one by six and plus n equal to one it will run for all odds okay to infinity dn is four upon n square pi square cos n pi x into e power minus n square pi square t if you want you can even expand this solution i write down like this one by six plus now uh, one will be there so basically i get four upon pi square times cos pi x into e power minus pi square t plus four upon two will not come into the picture because d2 is zero so i'll get three so it will be nine pi square and then uh, cos three pi x and e power minus 9 pi square t okay and so on now i can even take uh, this 4 upon pi square constant completely outside okay. 4 upon pi square will be outside and the rest of the things inside the bracket okay so it will be cos pi x e power minus pi square t and plus 4 upon 9 pi square and then cos 3 pi x oh, i'm sorry i took in this pi square constant so i should not include this okay this will not be there in the picture okay cos 3 pi x into minus 9 pi square t plus so on okay that appears to be our solution okay. cos x comma ux too much that's a required solution okay. is the required solution okay for more tricks and uh, uh, solutions stay updated stay connected okay. see you in the next video thanks for watching